Hey, what's up, Raider Vision? This is Elijah Rawlings and Justin Kern here. Happy November. I hope you enjoyed your Halloween, and I hope you're making it through this Monday with smiles and happiness, though we are, in fact, in school. <clears throat> but I have an announcement to make at the end of this week. November 6th, 7th, and 8th, Midsummer Night's Dream is going to be, produ uh, the production's going to be on. It's going to be amazing. Miss Lindsay is, once again, has a fabulous play for the whole school to see. I hope you guys are there. Yours truly will be in it. I believe the ticket price is $5. Take that with a grain of salt. That could change. But I know it's going to be an amazing show, and it's worth whatever the price is. Now I'm going to turn it over to Justin Kern for... Teacher Interviews. Teacher so, Interviews. Everybody knows that... We're special for the teacher interviews, but we're taking a different turn this time. We're not going for, you know, the teachers that nobody really knows or the teachers that, you know, people are kind of so-so about. This time we're going for a teacher that just about everybody loves. If you know her, you know who I'm talking about. We're going to Mrs. Haynes. She teaches French and German and she does senior capstone this year. And in my opinion, she is one of the best teachers in this school. Let's roll into it. A teacher interview for you today, but Frau Haynes has been a little sick with some bad bronchitis, so we ask that you keep her in your thoughts and hope that she gets better. Gal, get better. We miss you. <laughs> we miss you. Come back. Get better. Come back. Come on. Hey, ma'am, I'm really sorry that you're feeling sick. I really hope you can come back quickly because Capstone just isn't the same without you. And we have subs and they just don't know how to do it like you can do it. So thank you, ma'am, for everything you do, and I hope you get done being sick quickly. Thank you. So that was how the teacher interview went out with Mrs. Haynes. Now she we're taking yet another turn, and we're going to Spotlight of the Week. This week's Spotlight is the bowling team. <laughs> Strike! Not everybody knows about the bowling team. I myself am in it, and that's why I favor it so much, because bowling is fun. It's something that you do on a Friday night with friends whenever you just feel like having fun. It can be taken professionally. It can be done as just a way of wasting time. And here, we take pride in our bowling. We have two coaches. The guys coach is Mr. Fisher. He's a Spanish teacher. And we have Miss Regina Williams as the girls coach. And I got to take an interview with both of them about different aspects of the bowling team that not everybody knows about. And here's what they have to say. Good morning, McGavick High School. This is Justin Kern, and I'm with Mr. Fisher, the guys' bowling coach. Mr. Fisher, good morning. Um, I have to ask you, how many guys are on the team? How many do you expect to return next year? First, uh, good morning. Thanks for having me. We have uh, seven guys on the bowling team this year. Only six bowl at a time, so we have an alternate just in case we need one. Um, three of them are seniors, so we'll have four that return next year. All right, and what's our record so far? I know that not everybody has been keeping up with the bowling record since, you know, it's not a very popular sport. But for those that do really want to know, what is our record currently? Well, the McGavick boys bowling team does a really good job of striking fear into the hearts of our opponents. Um, we spare no uh, energy at all in getting them to be afraid of us. It all starts with the yell at the very beginning with senior Matt Holland. Um, and we've played all the, diff the te different teams in the district. We have uh, seven games so far. We are currently six and one. In that one game, we're gonna get them back in two weeks. All right. Um, is there any kind of info for any upcoming bowlers that would like to join? Is there any kind of advice you would like to give them up front if they want to do their best? Well, certainly practice is helpful. It's easy to put people out um, on the lanes that are good at bowling. Um, so certainly getting out there and practicing, that's the big thing. Uh, we have tryouts typically in the month of September, so the beginning of the year. Um, if you're working over the summer and from now on, that certainly will help you out. Um, but we'll have some spots available, so come on if you're interested. Um, we certainly could use you. All right, and one last, one last question. How does the scoring work? I know that, you know, Mr. Wall broadcasts the results in the morning after a game, but I know that, you know, the way that the scoring works may confuse some students. So could you give some in more information to help them out? Absolutely. When I was in high school, I would have been confused by that, too, and I'm pretty new to bowling here as the bowling coach. Um, there are 27 possible points. You have three different games. Um, in the first game, you can get eight points. Six of them will come in head-to-head -head matchups, so we'll have six bowlers at a time bowling directly against six other bowlers from a different school. If you win your matchup, you win a point. If you have the most pinfall out of all those six different bowlers, then you'll get an extra two points at the end of that game. Um, eight points for the first game, eight points for the second and third as well, 24 total points there. If you have the most pinfall after all three games, 
then you get an additional three points. So 27 possible points. To give you an example, this last match we won 24 to 3. All right, thank you very much. And uh, speaking of bowling, do you guys have any games anytime soon? We have one coming up this Wednesday at Hermitage Lanes, our home court, you could call it. And we're going up against White's Creek, one of our regular teams that we always face. It'll be at 3.30, and it's free. I mean, come on. It's a Wednesday afternoon. Go out, watch some people bowl. And it's free. Awesome. And you get to show off Team Pride by screaming your head off. Ow! Bowling! Pins! Strike! Turkey! Stuff like that. So come on out and watch us. You'll have fun. But now we're done with all the shenanigans. There is a sick virus going through McGavick High School. No, it's not Ebola. No, it's not the flu, and no, it's not the cold. It's hoodies. <laughs> dun, dun, dun! Watch this clip. Thank you guys so much for watching our episode of Radio Vision. Have an amazing, amazing Monday. Justin, it was a pleasure having you with me. He's the bomb. And you better go see his bowling match. And you better come to Midsummer Night's Stream. This week is going to be a crazy, crazy week. And I hope you guys rock it out. You guys have a good Monday. Bada bing. Bada boom. Peace out.